Sophia Cruz with the Idaho News 6 forecast. It is 518 on this wonderful Monday morning and if you're waking up with us early today, good morning to you. It's going to be a wonderful week ahead, but if you're heading out for that early start, grab a jacket. Temperatures this morning, we've got 52 in Boise, 47 for my friends in Caldwell. And as you make your way up towards the mountains, 44 in Pine, 34 in Fairfield and 37 in Stanley. So it is a chilly start to the morning. If you don't grab that jacket, you're for sure going to regret it. But by this afternoon, you won't really need it. We're seeing those nice and warmer temperatures. Now now, this is still in perspective cool, but in comparison to what we've seen, we saw 60s and 50s last week. This is pretty warm. We've got 70 in Boise, 72 in Mountain Home, and then as you make your way up towards the mountains, 55 in McCall and 67 in Idaho City. So a little bit of a warm up is coming our way because of southwesterly flow pushing in a little bit of those warmer temperatures. And in comparison to really what we're looking at, 63 is normally where we average, maybe a little bit 74, depending on where you live. So we are above average in terms terms of our temperatures, but not anywhere close to a record. 84 was set in 2003. As far as our lows go, still looking above average for that too, but that doesn't mean don't grab the jacket. You'll still feel it when you head out the door. Here's what's happening in our atmosphere. We have this upper level ridge causing the southwesterly winds to shift in towards our neck of the woods, and because of that, it's bringing in an, a little bit of warmer air, so that's why we're seeing our temperature spike up just a bit, but right behind that, a cold front is going to make its way into our area, triggering on some showers, possibly as you Make your way up towards Seattle and then going further into Idaho. But as we go through the rest of the week, here's how it's going to affect you. So if you're in our mountains and higher terrain, that's where a lot of that moisture is going to be this week. We have clouds coming in for our Monday morning. You'll notice it more as you head out if you head out for a little bit of a later commute. But a lot of rain showers continuing from Lewiston towards the Grand Pendleton. That's going to continue to make its way across the area. McCall will even see possibly a few snow showers, six to seven thousand feet in elevation. So nothing that's going to really go towards those valley floors, but as that front exits, we'll start to see those clear conditions and then a few clouds hanging out into our Tuesday afternoon. It's going to be much drier, though, if you're in our mountains tomorrow afternoon than it is today, but we aren't really out of the clear for rain just yet. It's kind of just an up and down pattern, but none of it looks to be super heavy, which is the good news. So 30 to 40 percent chance of rain in McCall and Cascade as we make our way into Wednesday with a little bit on the outer bands, but either way, it looks to be really dry across our valley floors and all of that moisture going towards our mountains. So if you're in McCall this week, tomorrow we'll start to see those overcasty conditions as that front starts to make its way in. Wednesday will be your day for rain and then again into Friday. It's kind of an up and down pattern, but 50s and 60s will continue through the afternoon. And for us here down on the Treasure Valley floors, we've got 70s and 60s through Wednesday. We see a little bit of a warm up into Thursday with a really dry and comfortable weekend ahead.